Now the sack needs to be six mil or about a quarter of an inch shorter than the barrel because we don't want it to get caught up in the end in the J bar when we twist it in. So what we'll do, we'll slot a skewer down to the bottom. Put that away for a minute. bottom of the case. So what we'll do first is we'll mark this, that being the maximum depth down a tiny bit. That's the maximum depth. Now we align the section, top of the section, where it will join the barrel. That's at the mark there. Then we come down to this piece of the section where we actually put the sack on. And that's the maximum. Now we want it to be about six mils or a quarter of an inch short of that. So it means that that line there, that is the length that the sack has to be cut to, to fit into there. So that will be That is the maximum length to there. That section there is where the sack goes. Run that down. I that that's the same as that. And then we will then cut the sack there. Goes there to there. So that is where we will cut the sack, and then when we put it on, it'll come up a quarter of an inch, which will cover that nicely. Right, let's cut that. That is our correct length of the sack. Finish with that. Now to get a start putting the sack on, I'll put this set of tweezers in, squeeze them open, like so. And then push the end Be wide enough into there. Oh, almost. Up. Here we go. Hell of a lot easier than doing the other way. Okay, gloves back on and then back to the next step. So, what we're doing now, you can see we've got the sack partially on. We don't put shellac on that section and then push the sack on we put the sack on first and then we put a, a fine line of shellac around there then we'll push the sack up onto it so we only want a little bit to go around there this is going to seal it so that no ink can run out that's all we need just the smallest bit Then push the, the sack up. Straighten it. 
push it up all the way and there we have it we'll wipe any excess shellac off that then we'll let it sit for a few minutes to dry and then we'll ink it last thing I do before we ink the pen is over the imprint here I'll run a China Graph pencil over the top just like so then very carefully wipe it off needs a little bit more and it just highlights it there we see it brings it up nicely That aside, now we'll put the section back into the barrel, being careful not to twist anything when we do it. Here we go. I'll have to take. Oh well, no, that might feel alright. Alright, the ink I'm going to use for this pen is Noodler's 54th Massachusetts. While I'm waiting for the full bottle to arrive, I'm just going to fill it up from this sample. So... It's open. Whoop. It's going to be closed in a moment. It's open at the moment. Dip it into the ink and let it close. Put a top on the sample so we don't spill it. Wipe off any excess around the section and off the nib. All right, first test. Let's see how we go. A little bit scratchy, but we're going to fix that in a moment. Okay, that is a very fine nib, very fine. Right, we'll take our piece of 12,000 grit micro mesh and we'll run some figure eights on it. We'll do another, another few in the front here, and then we'll test it.
a little bit scratchy. Still a bit scratchy, right? Back to the block and a bit more, a few more S's. S's or figure eights, doesn't matter what you call. Looking a bit better. I think I might move that nib a little bit further back into the section. I have a feeling it could go up a little bit higher which will make a difference on how the nib works. <laughs> 